Now let's apply Fourier transform for understanding the frequency content of a periodic discrete time signals. The Fourier transform equation then needs to be modified. First and foremost, replaced T by N, then XT by XN and change integration by summation operation. This category of Fourier transform is called as discrete time Fourier transform. To understand DTFT better, let us take an example of an aperiodic discrete time signal as shown. Let us compute its frequency spectrum using DTFT equation. As seen, the signal has unit magnitude only in the region between minus n1 to n1 and hence replacing the limits with minus n1 to plus n1 and solving it this is the resultant plot of DTFT. It is observed from the plot that the spectrum of DTFT is continuous and secondly the spectrum is periodic with a period of 2 pi. Thus, DTFT relates an aperiodic discrete signal with a periodic continuous frequency spectrum.